Greetings, hello to all the mystics and the dreamers out there, hello to everyone in YouTube land. My name is Belle, I'd like to do a video today about some items that I got from a recent used bookstore trip. I went on vacation with my husband Joey over the weekend, and we checked out some used bookstores. It was a lot of fun, I found a lot of really interesting books. This is the third time I've tried to shoot this video because <laughs> whenever the camera goes on, I get a little speechless. Um, it's not um, really my n native habitat to be in front of the camera, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about some books and see how it goes. Whenever I go to the used bookstore these days, I head for the New Age section, the Paganism section, and um, I'm just really interested in those mystical books because that's kind of the cutting edge for me and that's what keeps me engaged with life. Um, as you can see, instead of being in the office today, I am sitting in, in um, one part of my living room trying to just shoot this video with the iPhone and a tripod. And this is um, one of the cats, Mo, who might stick around for part of the video. He looks pretty comfortable, so maybe he will. Um, okay, let's just get started with the books. And, um... A lot of people like to just read a little bit at a time. I tend to get a bunch of books and read different pages here and there. Kind of an eclectic style. Not just <laughs> an eclectic um, spiritual path, but also a patchwork of reading as well. So, um, yeah. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, one of the books that I'm most excited about that I got... This is actually not from the used bookstore, this is from Barnes & Noble. It's this book by Paul Levy called Dispelling Wotiko, Breaking the Curse of Evil. And he actually goes into the archetype, what he perceives as the archetype of evil, and how you can work with that in your own life. And I'm just really fascinated by his creativity in this book, and how he's trying to share really um, cutting-edge ideas in an understandable way. And I think this is going to really challenge me in different ways. So uh, I've read the first part, and it's really good so far. Next, we have a book by Brooke Medicine Eagle called Buffalo Woman Comes Singing. I have not started this book yet, but I think it's going to be really good. Um, looks like it goes through all kinds of different um, things, so I might have to do another video once I get started on this book. I found a book called You Are Psychic. I actually have this on Kindle already, but I wanted to um, get the used copy of this book so I can just kind of flip through it more and get more of a sense of the different sections. I do like Kindle books, but I still like um, having the real thing uh, at the same time. So this is really interesting because the author, who is Deborah Lynn Katz, it looks like, um, talks about different ways that you can tap into your own psychic sense of things. And I think what she describes is a way of having almost like a, um, a film screen in your mind's eye and kind of being open or receptive to different images coming across your mind's eye. And I think she describes it as tapping into different forms of energy that I guess we all have access to if we're interested in that. So this is going to be really fun. Um, like I said, I've read part of it on Kindle, but i um, looking forward to delving into this more. This one, this book I didn't even know existed. It's about crop circles. Secrets in the Fields by Freddie Silva. Science and Mysticism of Crop Circles. This is going to be amazing. Um, I started reading just the first part of the introduction, and I feel like there's so much I don't know about crop circles. It's kind of like, um, kind of out there, kind of, um, not really in mainstream ideas, or at least that's my perception. I don't know, maybe some people think crop circles are totally normal. But, um, anyway, I think this book may challenge me as well to kind of open up to new ideas and new concepts. Okay, I got two like older editions of some kind of classic books. I have Seth Speaks by Jane Roberts. 
Um, Jane Roberts, as, uh, as far as I know, is a channel for um, an entity named Seth. And I think she works with her husband, and he does the dictation um, for her channeling, uh, as far as I know. Um, I have another used book, but I think this one is the first one, so I'm interested in flipping through this, seeing what types of information or kind of fun wisdom is in here. Um, it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of channels these days, a lot of people channeling information from universal beings. It's really fascinating. Usually it's very uplifting information. And as far as I know, I think she's one of the first people to bring channeling to a wider audience. So this will be really interesting. Um, and then here's a book. I think it's one of the first books by Zary, oh, excuse me, first books by Gary Zukov. It's called The Dancing, Dancing Wu Li Masters, an Overview of the New Physics. As you can see, it's an older edition. Um, but I'm looking forward to reading this as well. I really like combination of science and mysticism. Um, I know, I don't know, I guess it's like everyone has their own opinion on that, but I'm really looking forward to finding out more. I think I've read some of these ideas in other books, but this might be a really good overview for some cutting-edge ideas about mysticism and science. Um, okay, let's keep going. Uh, as a side note, or in addition to this, I ended up getting some Tibetan sandalwood incense. It's actually exported from Nepal, and it came with a small um, incense holder. So this is really fun. It says that it's for um, refreshing the environment. It helps with meditation and relaxation. So this has been really good so far. I've burned like two sticks of incense and I really like it. I also got a vampire uh, oracle card deck. Uh, I really like Lucy Cavendish and she works with um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith with the art. Um, and this is, I don't usually like vampires that much. I know they're really popular at different times. but. Um, this is just really fun since I like those two authors and artists. Um, okay, let's continue. <laughs> I need some like intermission music in here or something to fill in. Um, I have a little pamphlet almost, how to have an out-of-body experience in 30 days. I'm not sure how this will be, but I thought I might pick up some tips. Um, a Field Guide to Lucid Dreaming. This is really funny because I saw this book at Barnes & Noble for, for a full price, of course, and then I ac uh, actually ended up running across it at the used book bookstore for a little over a dollar. And one of the things that this book incorporates is asking yourself that question, am I dreaming throughout your day? And then when you do that, it's supposed to trigger lucid dreaming that night when you're sleeping after you do it over a period of time. So that's really fascinating. Am I dreaming? Um, so it's kind of a fun book. It has like pictures and stuff. It's one of these kind of cutesy books, but I think it'll be fun to flip through. And then here's another book that I often see on Kindle um, when I'm going through Amazon. It's The Handbook of the Navigator by Eric J. Pepin. And he is someone, I think, who has his own spiritual path of mysticism and meditation. And it's like, this is his take on things. I think he has multiple books. But I thought I'd pick this up, and um, I'm really interested to see what his perspective is. I haven't read that much of his books yet. But um, I'm just really interested in different people's spiritual paths, different people's mystical paths. And um, for some reason, that's just what fascinates me. That's what keeps me interested in life. Um, so along those lines, this is a book that I didn't even know existed. Uh, Teachings of Gurdjieff. Um, it's, this is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but this is a book by someone who was taught by Gurdjieff. And um, it should be a really interesting account. I started reading the beginning of it. And it's just a totally different era. 
I know sometimes um, different spiritual teachers are controversial in different ways. So uh, I think this is kind of a fun uh, find because I was not aware of it before and I kind of had to dig um, through the bookstore. Like I was, it wasn't even in the New Age section, it was like back through a couple hallways um, at the small used bookstore, not a small used bookstore, but kind of a, um, it's almost like you're in tunnels of books or something. It's like very narrow hallways. Anyway, so I found this book and I think it's going to be good. And I'll have a couple more. But these two are only a dollar to each. It's about um, past lives and the space or time between lives, which is really interesting. And people who do past life regression, I guess, sometimes um, regress people to the mystical or astral or whatever you want to call it, the space between lives. So this, these are by Michael Newton, um, published by Llewellyn. And I went ahead and got both. I'm not sure how I'll like them. It seems pretty interesting. Um, Journey of Souls and Destiny of Souls. And then it seems like it's going to be really cool. Um, should be some really interesting information and kind of some different ideas to just kind of think about and keep in mind on the mystical path. And here we have Quantum Touch. A lot of people have heard of Reiki, but there are other types of energy healing. This one is about quantum touch. It's by Richard Gordon. And um, I thought this was really interesting so far. As I was flipping through it, there, he actually quotes um, from another book that I found at a used bookstore called um, Stalking the Wild Pendulum. It is kind of like um, cutting edge ideas about the nature of reality. I don't have that book with me right now, it's upstairs, but um, I think that's kind of cool that I'm in this like niche of mysticism books and they're like quoting each other, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure, I assume you have to be trained in quantum touch, but I just kind of wanted to get an overview and learn more about energy healing from this perspective. So, that's about it. As you can tell, it was fun to go to all these used bookstores. I don't think I ended up even spending that much money. It was like most of them were very reasonably priced and um, it was just awesome. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in to this video. This is the third or fourth time that I tried to make the video. So hopefully this one comes out and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.